Junior Doug Brooks, still get it for uh, 16, man. Start with you. Doug, let's start with you, man. Career high. What was working for you out there? Um, just shooting it. Letting it fly. Anything feel better than normal? Um, not really. All right. Doug, your defense led to a lot of offense, not just for you, for your teammates, too. What was it out there, kind of along his questions, you know, defensively, that kind of allowed you to take advantage of some, some opportunities? Um, well, that's one thing I always count on is my defense, you know. Maybe shots don't fall for me, but I know I have to always go out there and guard and defend the ball. So that's what I try to do every night for my team. So that's pretty much it. Jacob, did you notice Doug out there kind of getting it done and then obviously allowing you to facilitate down the court? I mean, what, what was he doing defensively after that? Why did you guys do that? Uh, points. I mean, he throws off steals, like he said. You know, he's one of he takes he's very profitable with his defense and. Once he gets his deflections and steals, that gets him going to offense, which gave him the opportunity to make a lot of big shots today. Do you all feel, this is Brady, do you all feel that you are doing more of what Coach Wade was asking to do early in the season, or we're doing it better than you were previously? Um, yeah, for the most part. Uh, a lot of it is just us being more connected as a team, and we're all on the same page, and we all have the same mindset of what we want to do, so just keeping it going. Do you think of anything that made that click at any point this season? Losing. Losing will wake you up real fast. You call it first, first half, you all know, took some drives and they were really hotly contested, but you kept going out and getting the foul trouble. Did you tell you all just to keep driving the ball? Uh, yeah, we were just trying to see how the game goes early, you know, see how the referees call things. And so us driving to the basket, being aggressive, is going to open up the outside for us. How much more fluid does your offense feel with so many guys contributing, man? Uh, it's, it's flowing. I mean, when we're playing like that, we're going to be hard to beat. But obviously, we got to do a better part on defense because tonight we gave away too many points. But for the most part, our offense is clicking. But we got to be able to do both, offense and defense. <coughs> you guys got their bigs in huge foul trouble early. How big of a part of the game plan was that, or was that just something that happened? Um. It really wasn't part of the game plan at all, but it just it just happened during the course of the game. We were attacking in the first half, um, posting up, driving to the lane, or they would just touch us on drives. So I mean, they just got in foul trouble, and that kind of I think that kind of um, hampered what they did a little bit also because they didn't have this, um, big body setting screens for their shooters to get open and stuff like that. And yeah, coach emphasized you know every game this year the first play we run is to get it inside the mo to get them going and go at their bigs early and wear them down. Uh, this for anyone. Uh, the bench didn't seem quite as excited as you would expect seeing it wasn't such a big win. Is that for your reason? Nah, we just had a lot of people in their feelings, you know, as the game was going. That's why coach was a little upset. But I mean, we're gonna we're gonna move past it and get back to being enthusiastic for one another. Jaquan, when you say you gave up way too many points, seventy one is crazy. Do you mean way too many easy points? No, nah, we gave away too many points. Too many second chance points. Yeah. Like they were out hustling us, out competing us to like 50 50 balls and stuff like that, which is something we work on every day in practice. Or like we didn't match up in transition, they got a couple leak outs. So, like those type of points were like were really one of our points of emphasis. We gave up a lot of those type of points today. Yeah, we, they just they just outplayed us. If we was at their place, the game probably would have went differently. And so, we, we can't allow that to happen. We got to be able to outplay everybody because from here on out, we're going to get everybody's best. What does that say about you guys, though, that if you feel like you both got outplayed, then you won by 22 points? We're not satisfied. We're not satisfied. We just got to keep getting better on both ends, mainly defense, because our offense is going to click, as I see. But we got to be able to carry over defense from first half to second half. Uh, Mo, Coach Wade said that he was at least a bit concerned about uh, LG Gill, considering he was a hometown guy, and sometimes the hometown guys come back and play some of the best ball. He did have a good game. Uh, what did you see out there from him? I know you were going up against him. That was 33. Uh, I didn't really guard him, but from what I saw, he was just making a lot of energy plays for them, second chance, hustling, getting little stick backs. Like on our scouting report, said he could shoot. He hit like one or two threes out there. So he came in. Well, he was just giving them lots of energy, but it didn't like really transfer over. But him playing at home, he was playing real excited out there, talking a little bit. But we didn't let it get to us. Good morning. 
Jaquan, do, do you think seems like seem like they've slowed down a bit for you this year? It seems like you're playing with a little more pace now and a little more under control. Or is that what's what's been working for you these last several games? <coughs> um, just being optimistic about things, you know. Not not things things aren't gonna go my way all the time, but you know, you have an optimistic mindset. It's easy for you to carry on and just move forward. But that's been like a key word on top of my head for the past few months. Doug, um, the game that you had today, um, was there any like words that um, Coach Wade gave you coming into today's matchup on just like any advice on how to play today? Nah, for real, for real. I just go out there and play for my team and have fun, you know. We don't got nothing to lose, so we go out there every night and just give it our all. All right, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.